For my first logo, I'm going to be talking about the Python logo. I'm just going to get right into it. So for simplicity, um, the obviously you could, just by looking at it, um, it the the logo is meant to be simple, and it 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 illustrates that that's basically what the software software will offer to you. Because obviously, um, if you're not familiar with it, it's used for programming, and it's supposed to be very simple and easy for users to navigate, and you know just I guess just use it. Um, and in my opinion, I think that's what this logo suggests. It it's with its simplistic design. It's it's saying like, yeah, that that's basically what you're getting. You're getting a simplistic um, uh, piece of software that's very easy to use. Um, and for memorability, uh, I think that the logo is very easy to remember. Uh, like I said, I mean, it's very very basic i mean well when it comes to logos but i i think it's very good looking um whilst being very simple um and it's very recognizable if you're familiar with python there isn't any any anything that is specific to remember when it comes to logo and it utilizes the two colored snakes to accomplish this because you're, you're basically using two opposites, right? You have the one snake that's on top and the one snake that's on bottom. Those are two opposites. And you have the two colors, you have the blue and the yellow. There's basically just two things that are use, utilizing this to accomplish that. Um, and it's, uh, to, in my opinion, to create a really good looking logo. Um, as for timelessness, I think the logo has, uh, the, the logo's never gone through like an entire redesign, but rather subtle ones. Small changes in its color with gradients and solid colors. Um, I don't think it's too of era. I think that the logo is uh, it it could it can last for thirty years, in my opinion. I think um, this should be their permanent logo. It shouldn't it shouldn't change. Uh, like I said, they've gone through gradient changes, solid color changes, but I I just think that this is um, this is like perfect. I think. Uh, that they can't do any better than this and it should just stay this way. So to answer the question, no, I do not think it's too of error. I think it's perfect. As for versatility, um, yeah, I, it works in on almost anything. There are, you can actually get shirts for it, mugs, you know, I don't know, pants. There's all that stuff out there. It works in black and white. I actually put it in Photoshop. It looks really good. Um, yeah, it works in every situation. Uh, unlike, not all logos are like that. Un I mean, under the right conditions, of course, yes. Like, if you if you put it on a rainbow shirt that had a complete rainbow background, it might not look as good. But, I mean, that's like an odd choice of condition. Like, you you when when designing like a shirt, you usually choose for more obvious designs. Unlike that. So you're meant to assume that it's going to be on something more, you know, that makes more sense. And when it comes to that, I think, yes, it looks really good on in almost any situation, big or small, change the scaling, color, all of that. With the route text, it's never had text in it, and I don't think it should. But if you, I mean, I'm sure you could find a way to include text in there, but um, is it appropriate? Um I, I think yes, it's uh, it's an abstract logo. It's not too literal. It's not too much or too less. It's a simple design for a simple program that looks slick, and it's nothing more or less than that. As I said, uh, yeah. I mean, I don't really have much to say about that. I just think it looks super awesome. Uh, the color and geometry. I feel like anything that has to do with programming and creativity, the first thing I think of is shapes. And on a personal level, I just love the colors chosen for the design. I think the blue and yellow really uh, work well together. Um, and the geometry of the two snakes, it just looks, it's just a really good looking design in my opinion. And it utilizes this um, very, very well. Um, for the, uh, what kind of logo it is, it is a pictorial and abstract uh, logo and an emblem. 